Hi everyone, so this video is a quick look at a couple of carnivorous plants and is sort of jokingly titled Nature Green in Shoot and Leaf. So this is a Saracenia pitcher plant and inside you can see how it's captured a fly and how just how many dead flies are below it in the pitcher. So the fly obviously gets in through the, the lid and the gap at the top and then is unable to get out and scrabbles around a lot. So just have another quick look if, once this camera focuses. This is my currently very water filled bog outside at the end of October 2020. You can see the Venus flytraps are still looking pretty good. Uh, the Saracenia purpurea is looking good. Um, traps are starting to die off on the Venus flytraps but they survive perfectly okay throughout the winter. You see the remains of a crane fly in there. A smaller one, yeah, already starting to die off. This shows just how water filled the bog is. So I have a drain that I've taken out and you can see the water coming out. You can see after the recent rain we've had, the water level is up, up above the, the level of the peat. Um, also some leaves off the wisteria I need to cut down on the wall. But the plants are looking good, it's been a really good season for these plants. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to what they do next year and uh, that purpura is incredible, it's huge, absolutely massive. So from a very, very speedy look at the outdoor bog to uh, a quick look at some of the indoor plants. So to stick with the carnivorous theme, um, this is a small gnat, a small fly, caught on the pads of, of another one of my Drosera. Um, Drosera is a brand new but Drosera for me. You see how it's captured in the sticky droplets on the leaf, and no matter how it struggles, the, drop, the, sort of the um, droplets close in on it, and then the fly is digested. So later on in this video I've got another look at some of the, the dead decaying husks on another pygmy drosera I've got. So I suppose we go from uh, from death, as it were, of, uh, of unfortunate insects captured. Uh, by carnivorous plants to to sort of their rebirth really so this is a, a pygmy drosera this is a drosera um callistos which is from western australia so it's a small little um sundew that grows out there in in western australia um and like a lot of pygmy sundews it propagates uh, from these gemmae which are formed in the, the sort of the center of the plant and they act as little buds so when they're ready, these break off. Each of those very small sort of lumpy green things in the middle break off and form new plants. Now, these, I got uh, about 10 gemmae for previously from, a, from another enthusiast. And I have uh, sort of two pots full. I'll try to zoom out in a minute and see if I can take a, take a better view of these Drosera callistos. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to many more. I really like these little plants. Uh, I might see if I can get some different... Dros uh, pygmy drosera i've got uh, drosera dicterosipala as well and they're interesting i had those for quite some time um, and i think the original ones are dying off or have died off um, but one of my second pots is also now several years old because i gave away the these gemmae previously um, so this year i'm thinking I, I desperately need to to hold on to them and make sure i plant plenty plenty of the new versions but that's what they look like and then you get a small uh, set of tweezers and they should just gently break off and be ready to be planted. It's fantastic. And there you go. That's the long view, if you like. So you see how small these little plants are compared to my thumb. Admittedly, I do have huge mutant fingers. But yeah, so this was one pot and I planted another pot up, which isn't showing any yet. But I'm, yeah, very excited. I wonder if I can zoom in again on that and see if I can get a view of the bugs that it's digested. And there you go, I can't quite get the camera in the right place, but you can see sort of the dead, dry, decomposed husks of whatever fruit flies perhaps, or something it caught over the, over the summer on some of the, uh, some of the sundew pads. Um, seem to have done very well these at catching stuff. My pingicula, which are on the same windowsill, don't show nearly as many creatures. Um, there you go. 